It's time to yap. It's time to yap. Turn it up. It's Chloe, Daniel, Jack, and Kira. And this is What's Happening. Live on Queen's Radio. On YouTube <laughs> and Spotify. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to say hello. Or? Well, hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. What's, What's happening, happening? Folks? <laughs> Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah, no, I'm good to go. I'm happy enough. Yep. Oh dear. Welcome, <laughs> welcome back. Part welcome two back of to, uh, conspiracy yeah. theories. Part two of part two. Actually, we've just recorded for ten minutes, and it just went a wee <coughs> bit crazy. Yeah. Yep. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> I'm really confused because what cameras are we using? The ones we were originally using. Oh, that one's just. I thought we were again. restarting. No, we're for now. No. No, okay. it just it just turned on. Honestly, what a day, guys! We're back after Easter. We're ready and we're in to go. Um, ready to get some more conspiracy theories. Oh yes. We obviously have to finish the ones that you guys have put in from last week. And Jack's mum has given us Big two double sided A four pages full of knowledge. And I did some of my own research this week, and I did actually get my facts right for once. So I will know what I'm speaking about, and I will. Also, try to stop saying like for anyone who was doing <laughs> drinking games in the last episode. Thanks yes, for that. I'm not in scare at all. Yes, we're going to try and speak slower because that was just a word vomit oh, there, Chloe. Sorry. <laughs> you want me to like yeah, tone it down? Yeah, just go, just go slow. Hello, guys. Not that <laughs> anyway, anyway, any any fun things to bring up before we get into it? No. No? No. Daniel's oh, okay. not on the there, there was a comment. I just found that there was a comment made by a listener of this. I'm <laughs> looking at the comment. There was a comment made yeah, by the, the listener dog. of what's happening uh, to Chloe about me. You know who you are. You know you're in Grand Social, okay? You know who you are. Uh, this is like Taken. That, that's oh. that's what he said, didn't he? You have this person was? What? He said this to you in Grand Social? Yeah, you know you know who you are. Remember. You know what your name is. Remember. You know what you said. Okay, any more of that, <laughs> I'll be driving to Bangor <laughs> for more reasons. <laughs> so, Sorry, guys. Dear, dear, dear. Daniel has been biting his tongue. Since I will be. I'll be biting my tongue for the foreseeable. <laughs> <laughs> Lip's sake, like I, no, I'm saying nothing. I'm saying I'm saying no more. It was just a wee. It was just a wee joke. Like. Well, oh. April very, Fools. Very funny. I'm April Fools. I wasn't the one that said it. I'm not, no, I, I'm not saying you said it. <laughs> I'm not saying you said it. Don't, but don't you know who you are. I'm not biting your head off. I'm biting whoever this <laughs> gangster is it. that thinks he's. <laughs> yeah. Give you a I'm knuckle sandwich, man. I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> That's my holiday ruined. Right, Your daddy um, was gonna lose his job if we <laughs> did use the last, uh, the first part of this episode. Mm. Oh, it never will dear, exceed dear, the first. I don't. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting into it. We're not because I told the story about my youth and 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 then. But you described I comment, a lady no, in some not don't, don't, very don't need it. ways. I just I just described <laughs> her, worse. and there was no point of the story. There was no moral. The moral was just describing what the girl looked like. Do you know what? And I I'm taking a backseat. I'm taking a backseat. Finally. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> what do you call them? Backseat drivers. Mm-hmm. Passenger Doesn't princess lie. over here. <laughs> Anyway, he's not the best driver. We were basically talking about um, the Titanic, and I had brought up a story about how, whenever I was probably about fourteen, I was at a youth camp, and I had been awoken from my slumber and told to come outside. Someone really needs to talk to me, and me in a blurry daze came out, and there was about twenty people standing on a climbing frame. You know who you are, um, singing uh, that Celine Dion for a my song. My heart will go on. Yep. Uh, to me, what is going on next door? Do you hear that? Someone's singing Hamilton. Someone's screaming. This is, this the, this is just like the chaotic, chaotic day. Um, it must be no, rehearsals. It's the same guy. It's a musical theatre society. Gay. I don't think he is. Just oh no, he's, no, he's, he's not. Still he's back. He's back. Do you know what? Well, part three. <laughs> what the heck? We want Belton. Anyway. Can I record Jack, the stage? Can I bang radio? the wall and say, "Here, we're actually doing something ba- in here." Please bang the wall. That'd be <laughs> so funny. Careful the camera. Near punch hole. What the He will definitely. Not the voice. Not that we're not recording in here or something like. What's going on? Belting it out, whatever he's doing. I'm gonna start uh, yeah. screaming down the radio show. I, I better not be. Anyway. Because if he walks anywhere near that door, I'll be walking back out to him. 
Excuse you, sir, you've had all of an hour to get yourself composed. What's that thing Liam Payne said about the hands? (laughs) If you don't remove those hands, (laughs) the last time you use them. Um, Yeah. Chloe right now. (laughs) (laughs) Very much. He's still going. Let him live. Let him live. Is this a conspiracy theory in itself? (laughs) Who is the man next door? Is it a ghost? (laughs) Who thinks he can make comments towards other hosts of What's Happening? (laughs) If you've been Turn up. Here we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, not re- we're pre-recording it just. Oh yes, we we are we're on the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. What? What? Um. What is going what on that? today? Just a theory we're, we are not cutting that out of the episode. We are, <laughs> we are that? not cutting that out of the episode. We've a never man. met him before. <laughs> no, shout out to, if you're listening, sir. Shout out. Maybe he's, maybe he's a fan. Who? Maybe he's a fan. <laughs> maybe maybe he's submitted a a, a conspiracy theory. Uh, uh, Imagine uh, we o- were streaming live. Is it okay that I can k- describe him as this an older gentleman? Is that no. all right? Yeah, yeah. No. Thanks. An older gentleman <laughs> opened the door and I went, oh, okay. And they opened the door. Kieran nearly shushed him. <laughs> Kira, Kira went, and, and, then, and then the guy was there, he said, are, are, are you streaming live? I like, no. Uh, I, at first I thought it was the man from next door. I thought, not how I pictured you. <laughs> <laughs> but, wow. I'm, what's going on? What is today? An even better conspiracy. Who was the man who just came in here? Yeah, shout out. I mean, if you're a listener, shout out. Like He did say, oh, good to see you again. I've never seen this man in my life. Oh, Have you seen him? Again? Are you a student? No. Different kettle of fish. Different kettle of fish This is just so chaotic. I don't know what's happening. I've had today. such a bad day as well. <laughs> Can we just bring this up? I got a pair of trousers from uh, Boohoo Man. Uh, in fact, I got two. The other pair don't fit, but anyway. Uh, then this pair, I was trying to tighten them, and the, the like buckle thing snapped. I was fuming. Ach, and I was literally, I was literally been talking about today. Boohoo indeed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Well done. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you I know as soon as, he, as soon as you said he got from Boohoo, that was like locked and loaded in my brain, <laughs> ready to go. And I was waiting for a moment. I'm so I'm sorry, I'm so thrown off by what's just happened. I happen. wish That's there so was a, thir- we should maybe a third camera. A third camera and just, just the door. The, door. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, the fact that he asked, are you streaming la- imagine we were. Were you still yeah, gonna continue? Like, like, first I thought he was gonna say, sorry, I have a session. I was I meant to be in here right now. I yeah, I thought student. that was what he was going to say. Least it's impressive that he got that door open in the first try. He was yeah. Them. No, he was, going, he was throwing the shoulder oh, into it. Can we yeah. just bring this up? It took Daniel and Chloe about five minutes to open that slammer. door. Slammer? Oh, I get this, oh, I get this show trying, slammer. Didn't see you trying to help. I didn't want to offer because I didn't. No, no, no. Big lad sat in the seat. Did, did he go to get the key? No, I didn't get the key. Did he, did he, did he open the door? No, I didn't open the door. Yeah. Big lad, you fat shaming me? No, no, oh, no. Wow, Daniel. Bold wow. statement, bold statement. Bold statement, Daniel. Can we please be a conspiracy theory? Yes, right. <laughs> Let's just Why jump Why did Daniel drive his car off a cliff after the episode? Well, we just talked about- Just make sure it's not my car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so dumb. Daniel's actually going to leave. Read out the next one. Like he's going to leave. Read out the next one. Yeah, number so nine. we're gonna jump straight into yep. it, guys. Um, after ten minutes, just fast. Did we not do this one last week? Um, I don't think. I think we ended. Oh no! There so was definitely I, chatter of Hitler last week. Yeah, there definitely there was. was. But it was about that secret. No, I think no, Chloe we brought that up on the yeah. Nation Airlines. We did indeed. We did. Because I remember, and then, and I, and I, I loved it. And then she brought up Madeline McCann. Madeline McCann. Who <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that? <laughs> was that? It's that, a was, that was that was she. <laughs> So um. this person says, so my dad for the longest time was convinced that none of these people died. <laughs> Michael Jackson and Hitler. He's certain that Hitler had a way out of that bunker, shaved his moustache and just like somewhere. Is what? And Is what? Moustache. Shaved his moustache. What did I say? It didn't say properly. Oh, sorry. And um, just went somewhere else. Philly thought MJ took off to an island, staged the whole thing. I'm pretty sure that drugs, with the drugs in that man's system, he did not. Was That's a weird way to phrase it. Was Michael Jackson on drugs? He was a diddler. Was I thought that was debunked. Yeah? Oh, Ray's shaking his head. He's a diddler, yeah. isn't he? He touched kids. I don't know if he... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. that. He, like... 
Didn't they have like yeah. a special like? Well, they're not diving over us. Yeah, yeah, but then no, sure. Do you not oh, remember MJ. that whole? Then thing. there's an all, there's also a conspiracy theories and that of like did his did doctor or were prescribe him deliberately mm. and kill him. Do you remember the guy who comes on the news? What's his name? His friend who will come on and everyone was like, "It's Michael Jackson," but he's playing a character. Yeah, no, you know, search it up, Michael Jackson, uh, friend. It comes up like basically, it was it used to come on the news and all, and it would be like he's Michael Jackson's friend. But sorry, are you typing in Michael Jackson friend and expecting what? Literally, Michael Jackson friend, but it's actually Michael Jackson. Search that up, and it'll 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 appear. And he looks like Michael Jackson. He's a king of pop. Michael Jackson. I can't remember. I just remember seeing this guy. He's some banger tunes. He's from Banger yeah. tune. What? He has some Banger tunes. Michael yeah, oh. he's from Banger. <laughs> Michael Jackson's from Banger. Confirmed, <laughs> guys. If you're a black girl. He actually works in Miller's Chippy. Favorite Michael Jackson song? <laughs> Bang and Chippy. What's that one that's trending at the chippy. minute? What? There's one that's trending at the minute, and every edit that's done to it absolutely eats every time. Ah. Uh, the Hosier one. Have you seen the? Oh no. Aaron Taylor Johnson edit. Please tell me you have. Yes, I have. I've seen a many, yeah, but I don't know. That's I have. Really name of it. Rafe has seen it <laughs> by the looks of things. He won't admit to I've seen a different one. Oh. Um, I like Beat It. I like, uh, what's the one that's like? Smooth Criminals. And are you okay? Are you okay? And are you okay? I like yeah. Jackson 5 stuff. Doom. Like all the old. Easiest one, two, three. Yeah. I personally did believe that Michael Jackson didn't die. I don't know. I just think I saw some video of some picture, but it was most likely probably edited, and it looked like him on the beach. Or what do you think about Elvis? Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mama! Uh, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he died on the toilet, didn't he? We Laura has Allegedly, found yeah. a conspiracy about Elvis faking his death to escape the mafia, oh, living as his nickname John Burrow or Bob <laughs> Joyce, depending on who you believe. This is her words. I'm quoting her. Uh, Why? Oh, uh, there's some reasons as to why they don't think he's dead. Because on his gravestone, his name is Elvis Aaron Johnson, not Presley, not Johnson. And uh, he spells Aaron with one A, as like like his family do for like someone else who... A-R-O-N? Yeah. But on the gravestone, I think it said A-A-R-O-N. So they think that that's what... That's typo. Yeah. Well, yes, that's what them. <laughs> Potentially, this, this is a conspiracy theory. <laughs> that uh, is true. No, I think he is dead. I would say he's probably. I dead. think with anything like that, because it was it's the same with Hitler being alive and everything. So many people would have to know about it that someone's gonna slip up and be like, "Oh, president." But maybe that's what's happened. Mm. And that's why it's. I don't think Hitler something. died. Well, yeah. I would say he's dead, 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 dead now. He, he shot himself. He killed himself. Oh, yes. That was him. And his dog. <laughs> that was it. He, he killed his dog. Yeah. I thought he killed him Black and his dog. dog. Or something. Like poison? Poison? He poisoned his dog. I can't remember. Actually, don't quote me on that because I don't it's even remember Hitler? what year Hitler was about last week. So we'll just <laughs> move on from that. Did. Um, <laughs> poison. His dog. If he did, I hit the guy even more. <laughs> uh, so he Dogs deserve like, nothing. Yeah. Not that he did it. Uh, I loved studying JFK for history-controlled assessment. I am convinced that Lee Harvey Oswald was in fact a part of a group and not a lone gunman, but was just a fall guy. There's no way some random snuck himself into a building with a big rifle and didn't have anyone else involved. Also, the fact we actually had to watch the video of JFK, JFK being shot in the school is mental. Have you seen the, vi- the video of no. being shot? Yeah. You need to talk louder, by the way, because you're like... Mike keeps cutting out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the video of <laughs> JFK? <laughs> Don't do that. No. <laughs> um, I haven't seen it. I Have you not? JFK. Oh, Scott Splatter's like awful. He was the one that was on the back of the car. Shot in the car. Yeah. And his wife was pregnant at the time. Yeah. Was she pregnant? Uh, I just said, yeah. I said, no idea. Oh, okay. Well, I thought I'm she was pregnant. Sure. And I found out the other day that that dress that she wore with still the blood on it is still like being preserved to this day. Another like, piece of history, like yeah. Well, I was watching the Netflix thing drama. I don't know if it's drama or documentary on the octopus murders. And, right. Uh, the octopus it, murders. It came the up this, and it basically said 
that the driver was the one who shot him and the footage was doctored. And apparently there's a video where the tree behind him is in, like, the stump's there. Say the stump's there, then the tree's over here, like the rest of it. But no one has ever since, like, said anything about it. Part, like, the only time I've seen it is in that documentary. Yeah, I'd say there's def... <laughs> Why are you looking at my photos on my Mac? I'm trying to find. Trying to do a professional podcast. Um, there you go. There's a document. Um, uh, I listened to a lot of podcasts, and Kieran Bartlett and Shane Todd did an episode of JFK called uh, on their Mysteries podcast, and they went into a lot of detail about JFK. I would say he apart. Well, the story goes. Not the story. One of the story goes is that, like, whoever shot him, Lee Harvey Oswald, was just, like, the fall guy and was just, like, just took took it on the, on the, chin. On the chin, so to speak. Uh, JFK certainly took it on the chin and then uh, took a bullet. And the... then But then Lee Harvey Oswald was shot and killed, wasn't he? I on the way out of the police station. Yes, because I would imagine... But then who... I mean, you can look at it, he was shot and killed because someone that was a big fan of the president was like, what did you do that for, scumbag? Or you can look uh, at it like, you, or you could look at it like Oswald was going to, Harvey was going to spill the beans and someone shot him to, to cover it up. Drama. I love the drama. I think that's why I love conspiracies. I'm like, oof. Don't you just think? Don't you just wonder? I, I make conspiracies up every day. Add up. Yeah, what? things don't add up. That's when you sort of go, ooh, like, yeah. yeah. I can spiritize everything in my life. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this one is like, this is like really topical right now. Have you heard about the Ryan Garcia stuff? No. no. Basically, Ra- Rafe has heard about this. Ryan Garcia is like a twenty-five-year-old boxer. He's like really coming up in the boxing industry, and he's very, very good. Like, there's no doubt about that. And. Obviously now he's getting into this the whole industry with like A-listers and things like that coming to him. And he had put a tweet out on like a couple, I don't know, it was a couple months ago. And it basically said, um, I'll actually get it up word for word for you guys. Uh, something music. bad is going to happen in Baltimore, Maryland on March 26th, 2024. And this is a tweet he posted and it was later then deleted. The Baltimore Bridge yeah. incident happened on the 26th of March. That bridge hit, like, or the boat flew into the bridge, or sh- sailed, sailed <laughs> into the bridge, and knocked the bridge down. And everyone was like, wow, like, this tweet was deleted. Like, Where is what's he now? happened? What, where is, what's he up to And now? then he started posting all this stuff. Like, people was like, he was going a bit crazy. Like, he was posting stuff about bad earthquakes going to happen. Um, New York had an he earthquake. Said, yeah, so he Isn't said, yeah. this yeah. is, he made the prediction on March 6th, June 6th, bad earthquake and obviously at the minute all these earthquakes have all started happening like obviously there's one in taiwan i think was there one somewhere like that and there was one i know in los angeles there was a really bad one in new york i think i can't really remember specifically but i don't know what that is 4.8 i think whatever that means on the scale like there's been quite a lot of earthquakes not quite a lot but more than usual like obviously there's earthquakes happen quite a lot some people don't don't notice it because they're so small but these have been large enough that they're like being noticed on the scale like it's a bit weird but his prediction was made on March 6th that June 6th there's going to be a bad earthquake and now everyone's kind of freaking out and he also posted something about how um people were out to get him like he knows like they track basically I think he said something my mum and dad have been so into this like if you could get them on here and talk about it for hours because honestly <laughs> I couldn't even listen with all the stuff going on but um I think about Kanye West or something they were like trying to get him to join the elites like that whole elite society thing and he obviously like he declined but he like knows all this stuff and he started posting everything and he said that like they're gonna try and kill me like he gave a date in april i th- i don't know the specific day but he said like whatever day in april like they're gonna kill me like i told you so, like <laughs> they're gonna try kill me and everyone was like what the hell like Kanye, this is no, 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 this was Ryan Garcia uh, who right. posted this, the guy who's predicting everything. But I'm like, this is so weird because he's not like, he's never proclaimed to be like a predictor. Like, no. He doesn't like a higher power. It's just, he's a boxer. Like, but he has risen so quickly up through the ranks and like, 
now people are wanting him to join like higher societies to raise his like fame and his money and his fortune offering to give him everything and he's like no so now this whole thing's kicking off and people's like this has to be happening like like this is crazy and he's predict he's obviously just the baltimore bridge thing is crazy Where is to baltimore? Be it. maryland where is that america <laughs> it's, i think it's near new york san francisco East Coast, yeah. Okay, okay. I was going to say San Francisco. <laughs> um, that's a different bridge. Uh, <laughs> but everyone's like, that's so weirdly specific that that happened yeah. on that day. Like and he predicted that. And also that people are saying, like, because there's debate on whether or not it was ever really posted. Like, people like, did it didn't actually really happen. Like, whatever, because it yeah. was deleted. But people had screenshots off it and they're like, it did. Like, we seen the tweet. Mm-hmm. But it would be a bit weird. Why would you try to pin that on a boxer? Like, oh, this random boxer like predicted that it was going to happen on this day. Mm. Do you remember, did Stephen Hawking say something about a black hole? Think so, actually. Like, I was, I was, it was when I was in school. Like, I remember there being a specific day where we were all in the playground sort of going, if it's happening, it's today. I think mm. it was something to was do with Obviously, the end of the world. Yeah, so people so said like yeah. twenty twelve was it? Yeah, we were like, yeah, <laughs> we're. I was ready. I was ready to die <laughs> could that you, day. Could you have been in twenty twelve. I can't remember. Like whatever. <laughs> well, how many years ago was twenty twelve? Fourteen. Uh, twelve. Twelve. <laughs> what's twelve? What's nope. nineteen minus twelve? Yeah, twelve. Nineteen, 19 minus twelve is like seven. Seven. Uh, yeah, seven, seven year old me was, was like quaking in my boots. Yeah. <laughs> We do. Use, I used to have such an irrational fear of like space. I love space. Don't get me wrong. I love space now, but I used to have such an irrational fear of it. I buzz like you. No, <laughs> but you know, like, um, so I read in like, do you know them books you used to get? Not dictionaries. What are they called? Encyclopedias, Encyclopedias. and stuff like that. I was going to say. I used to read those stores, when I was younger. So and it was one. There was one about like the space and the sun and all. And it said and about how the sun could like die at any moment, like. Oh, oh it, like yeah. or it could die, whatever, and then Earth would basically just like explode, like we would just combust, like whatever, because there's no sun. And I used to like it used to keep me up at night. I used to set up and I think, and if the, what if the sun's not there tomorrow? What if the sun's gone? What if it explodes? Like we're gonna die? Like so you were an absolute joy as a child. Mum, is the sun gonna be there when I wake up tomorrow? <laughs> no, I never told. I didn't think I told to anyone. Bed. <laughs> and I would like I was like tweaking. I was like, I can't what if the sun just explodes? Like, we're all gonna die. Like I used to get work really worked up about it. Probably wouldn't know about it. Same about space though. Like the thought of an asteroid, like it was the same thing. Like we used to stargaze and then I couldn't do it. I got I deeped it too much. The thought of like an asteroid flying towards my face, like it used to freak me out. How long does an eclipse last for? Like seconds. Like seconds, I think. I think th- I saw TikTok where this one was lasting like five minutes or something. Like if it lasted yeah, for like a month, today, would we not freeze to death? Well, it wouldn't happen for a month because the earth spins. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, but in theory, if it did, like, well, yes, yes, it would yeah, freeze yeah, yeah, because yeah. there would be yeah. no sun. Fair. Unless we got, like, or like yeah, all so the heaters. heaters. What if we, <laughs> surely we just all put our heaters on or something all at once. It would become... Problem solved. Think, world think, peace. Think, but, like, yeah. should be the new world works peace. later. <laughs> um, yeah, well, how, how long would it take? So, like, obviously, let's say we went into eclipse and did come out of it. How long would it take for us to freeze? I don't know. Do you not see that kind of plays into the whole thing about um, the Earth going Indian Ice Age? Like they say, some scientists say that, like, or maybe it's proven, I don't know, after a certain amount of years, because of the way we are, like the optical like thing, it goes. So there's Just a point where <laughs> you're closest to the sun, and then it's whenever you're like furthest from the sun, and whenever it's in that time where it's furthest from the sun, the Earth goes into like an ice yeah. age. Yeah. For like. So many years, mm-hmm. and that's what happened with all the. Ice age. I saw the kind of like, <laughs> no, crazy, yeah, like yeah. the ice age, like that was a thing, and they think that it will happen again. Like, yeah. I don't know if that's a theory. I feel like that's just. A, like, Is it not just the cycle of the world though? Yeah. You start off. I was start there, but. I don't know. It obviously won't happen for a really long time. Well, yeah. Let's like, hope. Uh, it takes within a few days the temperature would drop, and any humans would croak it soon after. Within two months, the surface would freeze over and another thousand years for the seas to freeze. Well, just stick the electric heater on, we'll be fine. <laughs> Get the well, what if we did? What if we did? That scientist freeze. obviously doesn't know about my heated blanket that I put on during the winter, because that thing keeps me nice and toasty all night. Get the hot water bottles out and you'll be grand. Exactly. Let's just all cool our jets. We're fine. <sighs> Stop stressing me out because you're giving me the trauma I had when I was like seven, thinking the sun was going to fall on the earth. 
Or Why no, that? not from the earth. To the earth. Jeepers, oh. 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 This is a good one. What, do you believe in mermaids? No. Okay. Can't say I mm. do believe Clear. in Yeah. <laughs> Please. Uh, oh, no. Condensation. I okay, don't know if I do. <laughs> it's lost on me. But What's I. It H2O. H2O. Just that water. Same. But I believe that we. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic <laughs> Mr. Vox, it was on me. I hate you all so Sorry. much. Like, I don't think you understand. What a film. What a film. We're one big week back and I need another two week break. <laughs> like, That's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't no. do like the second part. Doesn't. No, he does. Anyways, Sorry. um, people were saying about like there's some tribes and stuff like that that live by the water, and you can still see like the gill marks like from evolution, like on their necks, because they think that because they've had the adapt to living by the water, but that's more like an evolution thing. So it's more that if you believe in the conspiracy of evolution, even though it's like a thing, like. Mm. It, um, like Charles, like <laughs> Senior Darwin. <laughs> but like they yeah. say, obviously, because people like maybe some of them fled the land, some of them fled to water. That like that's why user just looking Atlantis. at me like nothing. So the Little Mermaid. Atlantis. Oh, but surely like the sea also like we've only explored <laughs> what like is it like five percent five percent. So surely there has to be like other creatures. Did you know that Wouldn't NASA me. used to be dead? A Program dedicated to discover discovering the oceans. What did NASA? <laughs> really? Yeah, they used to be like there to discover the oceans. It was like well, that was what the program was for, and then something I don't know what it was. They were like, oh, never mind. And they, that, that's space. the whole thing. People <laughs> were like they saw something that made the them then space. turn to try space. and find us a new planet to live on. Like something scared them that bad. That they were like their next plan was to try and find a planet for us to King clear Trident. off to. King Trident. <laughs> King Trident. <laughs> Kira's dad's Ray Bands on. <laughs> What's the vlog? <laughs> we flounder. <laughs> Breaking it. <laughs> Sebastian singing. <laughs> Under the sea. Okay, John. Yes, what's the one? Yeah. Okay. This person said, I love the X-Files and the main conspiracy in the 90s with it was that it's in fact true. And Alan's landed in Area 51 in Nevada and it was covered up by the US government. In 1946... <laughs> Do you know you said Alan's instead of aliens? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's no one else. I didn't read it. I thought it was just Alan. I thought the aliens and, and the Alan's land. <laughs> That's how Alan's came to the earth. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that again. So the aliens, <laughs> just to confirm, landed in Area 51 in Nevada. And it was covered up by the US government. In 1947, <laughs> there was a crash there. And in 1955, they opened the government site, but it was only acknowledged publicly by Obama in 2013, and the whole area for miles is top secret. <laughs> can't even... <laughs> can't even fly past What's wrong it. with you? Just keep coming back to me. You crying? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, because you no, said Alan. I can't <laughs> Okay, I'll continue. The Alans are getting All very no. sus. A lot of it was covered <laughs> in the show, convincing... The American okay. public that that what actually shown in the TV show was in fact happening under their noses. Were aliens here? Is that what I say? Were aliens here? Mm, yeah, Are they still? So. Who knows? Uh, Is there not something that came out where literally they agreed? Well, that there was aliens. Yeah, this is f a fictionist example, so this could be totally wrong. But like, it's an interesting concept in the movie Paul. Has anyone seen Paul? No. no. With, have you seen Paul? Probably. Yeah. Paul the alien like looks like you know, like a space reader esque like alien, mm. and uh, he says in the movie like they they ask like why I didn't think you would like look like we know aliens look like, mm. and he jokingly says like humanity's been drip fed for years what aliens look like so that when we do see aliens mm. we don't like have a heart attack and freak out you know what I mean so like mm. if there is an alien in Area Fifty One. They've like given out rough pictures and rough like you know sort of all the movies and books and like lunch boxes and everything, just so that when you de eventually do see an alien, it's not as weird as it would have been if you just saw an alien. Wow! Not I do believe that. Imagine pulled up the traffic lights and That's what they say. No, even with like. But even the X Files. Been warned. Yeah. Like even the X Files. That's just what they're saying. They're like you're being shown the stuff in the X Files. Like to be like 
a wee bit of like a warning of like this is out there. Not obviously all of it, like, but you know that sort of. People that also vibe. say about like all the remember like the inscriptions and stuff and not hieroglyphics, but like the other things in the wall. There, there was like pictures of what they called other pe- like gods coming down. Like they said that that was like alien life that came. What's the crack of the pyramids? That's that what I was going to say. Should we talk about this in dual cast this week? Comes up Wednesday. Uh, it'll be it'll be already with time listeners. Uh, <laughs> that we couldn't build the pyramids today, right? Yeah. yeah. So how did they build them? Hundreds like and hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Like, Do you know what I mean? Because they're too heavy. Is that why they so, yeah. weren't supposed to have the tools that we. Surely we could like build them now. I, we could like build them now, but with stuff. like, uh, but like the well, tools the, the that they I had read, then. It could be different, but the fact I read was that like we couldn't build pyramids like they did. No, so yeah, why did they build them. My friend Marty, who was guest of Doctor Talk last this week, was like, he fully believes aliens built pyramids. Really? Like, yeah. I mean, that, I wouldn't go as far as. I don't aliens. know if the aliens built them, but I would say that they def like that maybe there was something that could have came down to lend them a hand, you know, <laughs> like uh, give them from the where, tools. like space. Yeah. So an alien. Well, have you not seen with the pyramids? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I yeah. agree with you, but I don't okay. think that they hand built them themselves. But I'm saying that maybe <laughs> the they got stuck in the box. Not? Yeah, yeah <laughs> like <laughs> all the elms. But have you not seen with the pyramids <laughs> how they all line up? Like if you look at how all the Either pyramids on, like, are in the map, grids or something. It like it's. Like on certain axes of the world, and people, there's like the whole theory that do the pyramids go further beneath the earth? Mm-hmm. Like, are they just on the surface, or have they actually are they like pillars that are mm-hmm. have been pushed through? Is that like wow. people like because people say it's supposed to like where they they're exactly made up in such a way, and that there's maybe pyramids in the Arctic or Antarctica, like whatever they are. Um, <laughs> I don't know which one, but. There's pyramids in there where it like all makes up. We obviously can't yeah, see yeah, it's yeah. all like snow locked. No, no, man. So another thing that reminds me of locked. Global debt. How does that happen? As in like countries? Yeah. Like whenever you're saying you couldn't build it now, there wouldn't be money to buy it, to build it now. Cause Is it not just bricks? Well yeah, but to build that many bricks pyramids. Cost money, don't go the world, I Google it there. The world is three hundred and three trillion dollars in debt. Two who? Exactly. Two who? What do you mean? Who the is the world in debt to? I, sorry, when you said <laughs> when you said global debt, I thought you meant like North no. Korea is in debt to another country. Countries owe money to the the world. Each other. But then them countries owe money to other countries. Where Honestly, does this money come from? If I That's another thing. Money isn't real. I would just say, look, mate. You bought that kebab last week. Like, don't <laughs> worry about it. Like, we'll we'll just scrap the debt. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but three hundred and three trillion dollars is a bit bit much. I just be like, oh, let's just cancel it out. We'll start from scratch. No one's in debt. We're all rich. Do you know Ars and North Downborough Council is the most in debt council in the world in the <gasps> country? I'm not surprised. Eighty five million yeah. in debt. <laughs> I am not one top. bit. Surprised. And they have the worst roads in the country. Yeah, they do. Have you seen the pothole? My oh. car literally feels like it's getting eaten by the ground. Literally. Literally. I, I'm not surprised. No. Actually. Tell, or it might be Causeway Coast now because of the... I was going to say in the country it's kind of wild. But it's it's like 80 or 90 million in debt. Cheaper so? It's like worse than you in your overdraft. <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally. As you look uh, it up, I also think Alexander Hamilton walked past the door there and back into the... Back into the yeah, well, you may watch it. Walked it. Out? Uh, did he come to? A, did yeah. Alexander Hamilton come to a bad demise? As in the actual guy that yeah. played Hamilton? I don't know. I've never seen like the Hamilton. actual Hamilton guy, like the guy in real I life. I think he was killed. Maybe? Yeah. Someone's wanting to follow in his footsteps. Um, Any more screeching like that when we're trying to record um. an episode? I'll go in and <laughs> <laughs> sing battle him. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Riff off. Hold on. Don't. I think a jewel. That's class. That's what they say. That's a good way to die. A jewel. Cool way to die. Do it in June. Oh, may that knife chip and chatter. That's how I want to die. In a jewel. In a jewel. That is how I want to die. I've just decided we'll have a jewel. Right. Okay. I'd kill you, Chloe. No, you wouldn't. Knife through the heart. No. In fact, I'd like to take on in a jewel the guy that made that comment about me and Dan Chosho. To the death. <laughs> May thy knife then. chip and chatter. And see who's laughing then. When you're bleeding out on the floor, mate. 
Big laugh. I really took that one. The it did take it to heart, you're right. Look, you're right, it did. It's okay. It's Sticks okay. and stones may break my bones, but words, words will never, never harm me. Real. Actually, I think words harm me more. I'm the <laughs> biggest baby. Like, <laughs> that is... Like, I, I can't be done with just people. This next one's a good one, actually. Oh, me? Jack, I'm Jack still trying still to find how much in depth council the councils are. It's a good point. Don't like you like Oh, yes. Uh, Ard North Down, 79 million. Causeway Coast, 71. And Newry Morning Down, 69 million pounds in debt. Get your money up, guys. Exactly. We better anyway. move out. No. <laughs> uh, the last submission is a bold one. Oh, yeah, uh, the Queen was never in her coffin. Think about it. Her body lay open to the general public whereby anyone could visit her. I don't think they would have taken the risk. Millions of people were paying their respects to an empty box. Totally agree. What? She's dead. What more will it do? But I think I know. the public, like a public, like if someone oh, came yeah, in and like just, just threw a little gas over the coffin and lit it on fire her? or something. No, like... Like someone but the that was security around there. I know. There I just don't think guards fainting at her feet. I just fate. don't mm. think that. Oh, that's true. I just don't know if they would take the risk of like I, I, any member of the. But if it came out that it was just an empty box, people would lose their minds. Yeah, I was at the trip in the color in London <laughs> last year. Can we hear that? Again? <laughs> <laughs> I was at the trip in the color last year in London, and what? Tripping the color. What's that? Something. What is it, Riff? Something for the king's birthday, is it? Something. Resident Englishman. It's like only that. his uncle. Like. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but when I was there, it was Prince William. Like watching it, it was like one of the practice ones. And the amount of police blocking yeah, people crazy. from getting around the place, and that's for the the Prince of Wales. Yeah. Not even okay. like. Not even the king. Yeah. <laughs> He's really throwing me off. Though. I can't. This is what I can't. Put your headphones on. I know, but like, it, it's <sighs> funny. Uh, can you hear him through the headphones? Yes, yeah. I can hear him through the mic. <laughs> I'll be picking him up. Uh, Honestly, yeah, um, I think it could be either or. I, I can, I, I can. <laughs> bang Pop off, off. Wall. Bang out wall, nice. <laughs> if I bang you wall, I'm screen? going for it. <laughs> bang out wall, but bang out. Let him live. Let me live. We're trying to record an episode yeah. here. It's so <laughs> Just hit it once. If he goes up yeah. another decibel. Octave, if he goes up another octave. <laughs> hey, beef, let me get my fist yeah. through the wall. Ooh. Sorry if you're watching this. You're odd. I'm oh, sorry. Respect. I did put your fist through the wall. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, I would say it's there's a chance that it could be either or. I said it's highly likely that it was empty. I, think really? I, yeah. I don't think that Really? They, well, obviously, she'd be somewhere else in like a vault or something. A <laughs> vault? Like, Stick like, Lizzie in the vault there, <laughs> you. Like they are like, not going to put the actual queen. Like, but she's just dead. She's there. not alive. Yeah, or she's a queen. A huge government figure. Like a huge, huge royal woman. figure. I know what that's why no, no there was guards everywhere. Like, Yeah, what's the difference with her being in Buckingham Palace and her being in a coffin in, the, in Westminster in Hall? In She's in Palace? Buckingham Palace with the public room of access. The public have access to, like, literally... No, but she walked the about the place. highly guarded. Like, she walked yes, about the place. inside the house. No, yeah. but even... She did, like, wee tripsies out around no the <laughs> road. Like, when you think about it, no place is ever really that secure. Like, there's nothing... Like, if Al-Qaeda decided... Al-Qaeda. Why? No. <laughs> Where did this come from? No, I'm just talking about, like, it, there he is. Oh, uh, there just in general. Oh, the myth the <laughs> um, <laughs> if, if, like, they decided, let's bomb Buckingham Palace... And they had the the equipment. There's nothing yeah, stop on them. Stop. Yeah, yeah. They, like yeah, they'd be but they'd be like a lads got out of their airspace and they'd probably be shot down. But like they'd probably <laughs> they'd, they'd probably get the opportunity to drop something before they got shot down. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? No. Yeah. Well, why would they not do that one to his yeah. life? Yeah. No, I'm saying. No, I'm just saying like in general. Like no, I'm just saying in general. Surely, when the rest of the family are still living. And somewhere else. Well, I don't mean I can't have dropped bombs at no, her funeral. It's just like, oh, uh, nice one. Why? <laughs> why? You're getting too fast. Why, why, why would they don't not put her body in the coffin? What? Why would they not? Because on like on the off chance that like... I, I Right, here's another bit. Do you think she was in the car from Scotland to England? When? When her body was being moved. No, for part of it. But I think they swapped. They, they were just swapped. See? Bold. Why was there like photos or something of it? No, there was definitely something. This is saying about her not being in her coffin. Was she in the coffin when she was in the car being moved? To where though? Where was she being moved from? London, from Balmoral. 
I I would yeah. say I don't I don't know, but I would I'd say there was there was one hundred percent a duplicate coffin. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's Definitely. knocking about somewhere. On the off chance something happens, like there's definitely. In fact, I'd go as far to say there's probably ten coffins, direct like identical. Yeah. Why knocking about for okay, like yeah. any circumstance that happens? Like, do you know what I mean? He you thought know what? the camera was <laughs> off. I literally went end of my life. Uh, do you know what I mean? I I think there's like there's definitely duplicate coffins. Yeah, I mean, maybe not ten, but like enough that like. If something happens, or like heaven forbid, like like if they drop the queen, <laughs> no one they're taking them out of the car, like and it's all obviously broadcast on TV. Would they take? And these guys are standing there for hours, and there's one's feet. But they've been practicing. They practice for this. I know, but like, are they taking the chance that like? But but when they're practicing, they're they're holding the antique coffin. Yeah. So like, well, they probably they not, be waiting. Could they not just be like? Right, lads, same, same as the practice. Because <laughs> let's say you know you have to account for like nerves, like you know, just like just like oh my goodness, I'm carrying the quit. Yeah, the attention. There's millions of people watching this. Was there not like ten of them though? If you drop Big Liz, right? <laughs> let's say one guy at the front faints, right, and takes a coffin with him. If you drop Big Liz, heaven forbid, the coffin opens, right? Would it not be more scandalous <laughs> if she wasn't inside? Yes, but, but like, at least they can come out and be like, this This is the exact reason, in case flipping an idiot at the front drops her. And but then there's nine corpse. other people to... It's literally, I swear, what they're like trained for, like yeah. their whole... I, 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 don't, I, I like do that. think she was in the coffin, but I don't think it's ludicrous to say, like... It's not crazy, that she, but... That she wasn't in I the coffin. I don't think it's yeah. that, like, um, deep. Um, it'd be mental if millions of people were paying their respects to an empty box. Empty like, coffin. Just walking up the piece of wood and being like, I'm so sorry about that. That'd be sad, that'd be right well. Um, my mum was That's awful No but like If it was an ep- You know if they were Under the impression It was a real person And it was a flipping piece of wood It'd be scandalous It'd be a huge scandal I Have a really good Conspiracy We kind of touched on At the end of last week's episode Um, I don't know if you've heard about it In too much detail It's the Ali Salam case This is like oh. We obviously talked about The unsolved mysteries And stuff like that Basically uh, She was A Canadian Tourist and she, her body was found in uh, one of the large cisterns on top of the, what's it called, Stay in Main Hotel in downtown Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, do you, like, no one knows what happened. Like, they did an autopsy and they couldn't come to a conclusive decision on what happened to her. Um, she the one that was going mental in the lift. Yeah, so people yeah. had been, she, her I parents guess. reported her missing in the 8th of February because she wasn't replying. She was... 20 something. Uh, I think she was twenty when she died. She was very. She was a student. Who she was. Um, and they put her death down to accidental drowning. And pretty much, her parents reported her missing the eighth of February, and they were like, "It's really unusual. She hasn't contacted us. Like, she usually texts us all the time. Like, it's not normal behaviour." And they were like, "Right." And then it took them a while. They actually start like an investigation to find where she was. So they went out. They were looking for it, and they ended up recovering CCTV footage. And she, you can see in the video, she's like ran down the hall into the lift, and you can see her like looking like if you see the videos, it's so unsettling. Like she's looking out the lift, she's like hitting the button, like trying to get in trouble because she's standing like running at the corner, like looking out, like thinks someone's following her. And when you look at the CCTV f- footage, there's no one else there. There's not another person. There's nothing. Like no one's following her. No one's chasing her. No one has been following her. Um, and somehow. Like, the doors that you like to go up to the main bit were locked, so she would have needed to go outside and gone up the ladders in the side of the building, which in itself, like, it's just weird. Like, like why would you go through all the effort? So she went out and she got up to the top, and pretty much then no one knew where she went, and they were looking for days. Like, she obviously didn't throw herself off because they would have had a body, things like that. Um, Then there was complaints in the hotel about the water oh pressure and the water being a funny colour. And they were like, you know, people brushing their teeth with it, getting a shower with it, and it's like it's just a weird smell. It's a bit dingy looking. Like, can you sort this out? So, then, police basically found her body floating, um, in the cistern, like the main water tank. The water tower. The water tower thing in the top, which was like obviously connected to everybody's water in the whole building, and so people have been like drinking this water, potentially like using it to brush their teeth, like in the shower, or whatever. And it was because her body was in there. 
but they didn't say there was no foul play, there was no damage on her body, there was no Rock drugs ones. in her system. Oh my goodness. So they said that, I think they tried to say they put it down to like a bipolar disorder. They said that she had had some kind of like bipolar like issue, like that this was what she was dealing with. But her parents were like, no, like we want another investigation to be open. Like she has never had, like she never was known to have these problems. She was just a student uh, like out traveling. There was nothing weird suspected. And if there had been, her parents obviously wouldn't let her go. So everyone was like, this is so weird, like so unexplained. I don't know if there was like a ghost because there's obviously in that um, stay on me and there's like a whole thing with like people don't know. They say there's all this paranormal activity yeah. that happens there and it's like a well-known thing. And and also with that hotel, there was a lot of people who were either like drug addicts who were just living there, like people who were homeless if they got enough money to stay in the night, they would stay in there, things like that. So... They didn't know what had happened to her. Like they thought, any this is could it be anything? And she wasn't on any drugs or anything. So they like checked her cyst. Like then the autopsy showed that like, she was, everything was normal. And they had to rule it to accidental drowning. But everyone's like, how for one could she get up into the water thing? And then how would she get in and not be able to get back out? Some people said that maybe she went in like I don't know, like swim or something. I don't know. People say that and. That, that what had happened was the latch had closed behind her and she got trapped and then she couldn't get out and then eventually she did just drown, which is, like, horrible to think about. Like, drowning is, like, one of my biggest fears. Mm-hmm. Or burning to death. Like, it's not... Like, up there, you're like, trapped yeah, in there. Yeah. Like, so that... like And I, th- I can't remember how they said that they found her body, like, if she was, like, fully clothed or what had happened. Like, but they just... They never said that there was anyone, like, suspected for it. And... The only thing was, it had like a really weird similarity to this film. Um, it's called Dark Water. They said that um, the separate suit that was filed later by her parents was dismissed. Um, but then some internet interest people, like who try to un- uh, solve unsolved mysteries, were looking and they saying that there was a lot of similarities were, that were co- like considered very unusual um between uh elisa lamb's death and the 2002 horror film called dark water and so that's is why it blew up because everyone was like it seems so weird that it's so similar like it's it's almost like it was like a planned thing and people say that it was like i don't know like maybe people that she's met and stuff at bars like that as well like like there was some guy involved who was in the weird like rock music and stuff and some of his songs had reference things <laughs> like that like he was in low it was like real like heavy metal but the lyrics of his songs were so like S- some of the spe- stuff were sp- specific specific to like some of the wow. things that were kind of similar so people were like oh was it him that could have been that but then they end up rolling him out i think he had an alibi or something so it was just Boring. nothing. and also when they looked at the cctv footage there was nobody there like there was nobody ever following her like no one came after her. There was no one chasing her through the hotel. So it's kind of crazy. But that's what people said as well. People think that the CCTV was tampered with because the time stamp, there's like a jump with like when yeah. it's like it glitches and everyone's like, well, why is it glitching? Like some people said about uh, somebody that works in the hotel was involved mm-hmm. and that's how that, like they were able to yeah. kind of cut their way around it. So yeah, mm-hmm. a lot to think about. It Like... It, that's it kind of shortened and condensed there so you can go so in depth about it like there's a whole series about it um but i think it's pretty cool like it's pretty interesting do you have some like that you want to talk about um mandela effects i love this one Did you just hear that? yeah i heard that <laughs> well i certainly wasn't singing that last one <laughs> put it that way <laughs> Gee, it's a mandela sure. effect i make a complaint um <laughs> Do you know what that? Do you know what that is? Yes. yes. No. For people yeah. at home and Kira, <laughs> a Mandela effect is a, is when a significant number of people collectively misremember something, believing it to be different to, to reality. Uh, it's named after people thinking that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the eighties when he did not and died in like two thousand and five or something. Something like that. Yeah. But there's also the thing with the Bernstein bears and the Bernstein bears, like with the yeah. A or whatever the letters in it. And Either an I or an A or something. Yeah, at the end of it. people thinking that if you get up some, yeah, Mandala effect stuff. There's um, the robber emoji. You know what? the robber emoji? How would yeah. you describe it? Him with a wee bag of money like that. Yeah, wearing what? 
black and white. It's never existed. Serious. There's no rubber emoji. What? Uh, Looney Tunes, spell tunes. It's spelled T U N E A. It's spelled T. It's spelled like music. And I thought it was T U O. Yes. But it's T O O N S. Uh, it sounds ridiculous because it's like cartoons, uh, Looney Tunes, but no, it's Looney Tunes like yep. a song. I th- wait, I confused myself. I thought it was T O O in it. No, is it O O or is it U N? Yeah, so there you go. So there's an example. Yeah, I thought it was tunes, but it's so actually tunes. It's, it's the one on the left, or it's the one on the right? No, it's the one on it's the left. I thought it was the one on the left. It's the one on the right. It's the one on the right. It makes zero sense, but yes, it's so that is the right one. Yeah, so we. That's what I'm saying. I thought it was T O O N. Yes, did I? Yes. Bernstein bears didn't exist. Bears didn't exist. Bears? No, it does exist, but it's spelled different. It's burn. It's stain. Stain, not burn stain. How, what <gasps> does the uh, evil queen say to her mirror? In mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the first off the wall? Mirror, mirror. No, magic mirror on the wall. What? Yeah, yeah. Mad. No, it mm-hmm. won't. Did curious towards have a tail? That the was wall. a good one for me. I've seen that one before. Monopoly man didn't have a monocle. What's a monocle? We, oh, the wee yeah, the wee thing. Nope. Nope. What? Nope, nope, nope. Uh, fruit Loops are actually spelled F R O O T and not like fruit as in like. F R U I T. Oh. Yeah. I thought it was fruit, to be fair. Like, fruit loops. Fruit loops. How would you describe the Mona Lisa? How would you describe her facial sad. expression? RBS. <laughs> so, like, sad. <laughs> yeah. That's mad. Apparently, she's smiling. What? No, she's like this. Yeah. Apparently, she's, she's like smiling. Who, who, who? Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa. Um, Pikachu's tail is a good one. I've thought about that before. Look at that one there. See, she's happy. So his tail's just plain yellow. I always would have no, drawn not. it with a black. Yeah, with a black thing at the bottom. That's yeah, mad. I've seen this. I have like really looked into this so much. To be fair, she's not looking very excited. No, but the fruit of the loom thing. Like that's why I remember because there used to be one of those. Did there not used to be something like that on the Ballyhack Road? What? Yeah, fruit, fruit, fruit of the loom is used wildly and like, it's like yeah, clothes, it's like it? yeah, it's like it's like anywhere oh. that's getting any clothes done. Yeah, yeah. I thought there was a fruit shop in the Bali crowd. I think, ooh, is it one? <laughs> no, I, there's something like it though. Oh, I don't know. Okay, I, I'm so confused. This has really <laughs> dropped me out. Have you heard about um? There's another one like the butterfly effect. Oh yeah, where some something you do. Effects. No, effects something else. So, like, say, that's what people say, like, the whole thing with time travel. If we could time travel, don't kick a stone. Because it could just, like... Hit you in the head. It could, yeah, it could be changing the whole course of life. And it kind of comes down to your perception of time and space and parallel universes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, um, like, that's what the whole thing with the butterfly effect is something that you do right now. So, me getting up my rock and out of this room could result in, like, me getting smacked my garden from down the road. Yeah. But if I stayed here for an extra two (laughs) (laughs) Daniel. (laughs) An extra two seconds, that car would have already gone past and I would be fine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So and like the slightest thing can change the whole course of your life. life, Uh Mandela effect, you know, in Star Wars where he says, uh, Luke, I am your father. Mm -hmm. He actually says, No, I am your father. He never says Luke's name. Is that math? We're gonna need a bigger boat. Is actually you're gonna need a bigger boat. Yeah. And what? Jaws. I've never seen Jules. <laughs> That's yeah. what life is like a box of chocolates, but he Oh life was or What? Something? It's life was like a box of chocolates. I read that one. Mirror, mirror on the wall. That's wild. That is actually No way. What? Run you fools oh. is actually fly you fools. Oh I thought I was I thought it was gonna say fly you fools is actually run you fools. I was like no Lord of the Rings. I was like, oh. no way. This is crazy. Off the world. We are the oh, champions. Yes, it's, it's so at there. the end of We Are the Champions, it just said he just finished with We Are the Champions. No, he definitely says, no, he says, of, the says the world. of the world. Yeah. And, and doesn't say like of the world. Well. Party never said he, of the world. He definitely yeah, that never he happened. definitely says of the world. Unless he did that at like a concert, but in the actual YouTube one he do, or Spotify doesn't. That's crazy. Neil Armstrong's death. A lot of people um didn't have a recollection. Of the legend's death, uh, people apparently forgot or didn't notice the news from passing. The legend, well. rip legend. I genuinely, when you said that, I, I thought I was going to say, "Oh, people think Neil Armstrong's dead." I didn't know Neil Armstrong was dead. I didn't know Neil Armstrong was dead. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, 
Don't people, but people also don't Rotten. believe in the moon landing or anything. People Definitely think that yeah. is, I swear that's a conspiracy in itself. People think that the moon right? landing was all. Yeah. Um, I, I can fake. see why like because why line. haven't they gone up there recently? Well, that's what they say. Like the flag, basically, in the moon landing in the video was waving, <laughs> yeah. and it was up. But people were like, "How is How's that possible?" Yeah. And there's no oxygen. Like there's nothing. He does. Like, he, he says that can't he happen. He does. Okay. Like liars. <laughs> We're discussing here the moon land and we'll just go up about We're Queen. figuring out the Mandela I thought we're breaking <laughs> boundaries here like Um <sighs> Figuring it wrong mm-hmm. But yeah he Like people are like The stars When you're actually up there There's because of the light or whatever There's something <laughs> Come on here Like you shouldn't Spotify actually be able to see the, there, You should be able to see the stars But there was no stars Something like that The same with the footprints There's something with the footprints in the, oh. On the ground and the flag was the main one. Like how was the flag float, like moving when there's no there's no wind mm. in the air? So how Although is there's that also happening? there's also no gravity, so it might just be like sorting itself out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pretty fair, actually. Doing a wee boogie or something. I don't know. <laughs> Do you just know about the um, like deja vu and stuff like that? Oh, what a song! Do you ever get yeah. it? Do you ever get deja vu? Uh, sometimes yeah, I got it the other day. I can't remember. I get it, it yeah. all the time. I get it all the time at work. Like, I'm like all the time. Like it's like a really weird situation as well. Things that are so weirdly specific, like really weirdly specific. I'll explain after, but it's like I'm like, oh my word! Like this has happened before. Like I've had this con- exact yeah. conversation with this exact person, mm-hmm. and it's and I can like this sounds. Do not call me like a crackhead because I'm not psycho. But, like. <laughs> Like I can tell what's going to happen next. Like I'm, I'm like, will change what I'm going to say because I'm like, I know how this goes if I say. Like it's so weird. Well, you didn't get that today. <laughs> no. Daniel went off in a spiral. No. Um. But we uh like Flop deja vu. They say about de- deja vu. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, they say is like. Don't get me stoned. <laughs> Me, I feel like right. I've got deja vu right now. The amount of times he's talked oh, like this. Yeah, for no, talk, um, see, see if see no, if I had come to you before this for this episode and said, uh, "Wait to hear what someone said to me in Bothy Coffee the other week," and had said that Bothy Coffee. And to my look, oh, what the cheese of cheek to call someone fat because she's not oh. too skinny herself. I would. You call me fat on camera. He did. He did. I did. I would be like big lad. Fair. I said big Shouldn't lad. Be big lad is not. Big lad. Big lad does not mean fat. Big lads just like something lads call each other. Something why fellas. load isn't? Delayed. Yeah, why load Delayed. is fat? Like, huh? <laughs> yeah, so Daniel and Jack have had this thing where they've uh, said they're going to get me a white load sticker to walk around on. So anyone watching this? No. Uh, anyone can, watching true. this? Now, Chloe started this, yeah. just saying. Yeah. She was the one that put the idea in our head. Yeah. Of myself, I was getting my formal dress altered, and you two said that I need a white load sticker. I didn't I say so it nice. first. You I came called up with me the, big the back. Com- the comedy aspect of a called wide Called me wide. Should I call you wide? Instead of the yes. award I, for wide load. I did not say Daniel if there was a award for wide load. Daniel I did said not. he was going to call me up <laughs> in front of the formal too. and said that the wide load the wide, goes to. Yeah, thank you, Kira. But I didn't. I didn't I, yes, I said that, but I didn't come up with the concept of you having a wide load, did I? Yes. I think that it I was a very much a joint effort. Yeah, after yeah joined it. Reef was wetting himself because he was sat there in the class that day that I was getting Can you share shreds. some lightness? Did I come up? Did I say why I'd load first? I, I may can't well remember have. because it was. I may well have. It doesn't first. matter. He said it first. It was. One it's of you still two. going to this day, and it started months ago. Okay. I haven't called you wide load. <laughs> so today. let's just stop feeling sorry for yourself. Wide load. That one per. <laughs> <laughs> that one person. Oh, no. You're so mean to her. Sorry. Said one thing, but let's just get over it. And also, it was a bit self inflicted. What? <laughs> what you said? I <laughs> didn't. I. It was from the episode where Daniel said, All of us have kissed a big girl at some point, and we were like, That's There's not nothing nice. wrong. I'm not that. slagging everybody off. And then they said, What's he talking about? I'm not slagging he anybody can't off. can't say that about anyone. Of course you can. Uh, like, well,. That was just the point. They didn't say I'd like anything this man's worse. Name. I'd like this man's name they after. They didn't say anything worse. I'd like this man's name. name. And address. I don't know his name. Or his address. Oh, so did a stranger come to the internet, did he? No, <laughs> uh, it was your man. <laughs> Let's not get into that. Oh, That's a touchy dear. subject. Um, anyway. Oh, was it? What? No. no. Um, What's next week's topic? Next week's topic 
get it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was getting into deja vu and about how oh, yes. people think that you've lived, you can live like past lives and this is why it's happened or you've had mm. certain, like... It's not all the universes, like the alternate... Alternate parallel. universes, yeah. like you're ha- there's like a shift yeah. and this is why you, you like, remember things yeah, and it's almost like you're go- like, you've already lived what's about to happen yeah. so you can kind of tell where it's going to go. I think it's really interesting yeah. but it's the same with that kind of also ties into the whole um, projectile, not projectile, projectile vomiting projection. Oh, lovely. <laughs> astral, <laughs> astral projection where you can like. Oh, like astronomy? Like no, the stars? Oh. Like you can like turn your body off, but then your spirit. And Doctor like, Strange. Shift, is he that doesn't shifting Strange. or something? Yeah, and like when you're sleeping, the way you can like, some people think that you can like. Oh, come out walking. Your spirit yes. can go walking. So yeah, that's a really good way to put it. And you can walk in this kind of middle land. Have you seen that people go driving in their sleep? Huh? Yeah, like sleepwalking, like sleepwalking, sleepwalking, but they drive. Do you ever like, zone out when you're driving that? and then you don't realise and then 10 minutes later you're I like, was, oh, I was I on the phone with someone and I, it was like a 15 minute conversation and I was like, I don't remember yeah, anywhere where I've that I've just driven. I've just been... Yeah, I didn't any fall asleep at the wheel the other day. To be fair, I just was <laughs> shattered. I was coming with a high time. I was like flipping heck, laugh. Open your eyes, would you? Turn dear, dear, turn dear. your music up. Uh, do you want to hear next oh, yes. week's topic? Yeah, oh, yes. do reveal it to us. Lad and lady holidays. Oh! <laughs> so Big reaction. Any to show. any lads holidays or ladies holidays stories? They'll be Get them in. Mm-hmm. They'll be in the link below. Um, so fire them in. You have been eager. on a lot of ho- like grip holidays. I've been on one. I'm going on one this year. Mm-hmm. But that, have I? Have I? I'm not going to obviously out now. Have I told you about my? Have I un- told my story about my time in the, the strip club? No. Oh no. What? Okay, I'll do that next week. Yeah. Wow. Just, just, just to preface. I wasn't involved in any of the antics <laughs> that went on. Any of these activities? In, in uh, I think it was called. I think the place was called either Lollipop or Scandal. Um, scandal that you were in there? Yeah. <laughs> the prices were a scandal. <laughs> no, joking. Um, but uh, I'm cutting that out. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell that story next week. Okay. Well, um, guys. Um, yeah. Yeah, please get your responses in. Or if you know any stories of other people that you want to dish yeah, just out, brand them as your own. Yeah. Yeah. Brand them as your yeah. own. Just put them in there. You're, we just want something to talk about. Use your creative. Uh, Initiative yeah. skills, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's us. Hope mm-hmm. you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for the TikTok. We're gonna be blasting them out, I think. Hopefully, yeah, we come around to it, yeah. Um, but we're back on it. We're back, okay. <laughs> See you next we're week. Ready. Bye. Bye. Time to yeah. It's time to yeah. Turn it up. It's Chloe, Daniel, Jack, and Kira, and this is what's happening live on Queen's Radio on YouTube and Spotify.